In September 2018, this building behind me was engulfed in flames. Three firefighters died while battling a blaze on the 23rd floor. Authorities discovered that this building was severely damaged and could collapse any moment. While the city is now preparing to demolish this building, families of the deceased say they're still waiting for answers. There's a lot of things which have happened. We just heard from the media that the building is going to be demolished on Sunday. Obviously, from my side, I never heard anything from anyone as a father of one of the deceased firefighters. If they did communicate, who did they communicate to? Because the people who have my numbers, the EMS, everybody at the EMS, they have my numbers. No one has ever phoned me except the media, which I was surprised to hear that the building is going to be demolished this coming Sunday. Robert Morapana's son fell to his death while fighting the blaze last year. He says he remembers his son each time he hears sirens or passes the building which claimed his life. Maybe four, five, six, eight, six times a week I pass it. I see this place because I'm working further down the CBT. Then you hear those sirens, especially passing with Commissioner Street next to where I'm working. Then I think my son would have been in that truck, but now he's gone. And I haven't got the answers from the authorities which had to give us the answers. I don't know how long it's going to take. Whether we should go to media in order to get answers, I don't know. Because the people which should be communicating with, to us, they take us lightly. They're undermining us. That's why they don't even give us the relevant information about what transpired on that day. After the commemoration, they called us for a meeting on the 17th of September. They gave us a summary of the EMS report. And then they promised us to give us the full report in less than two months. And their two months, two months have expired on Sunday, the 17th of November. And we haven't heard anything from them. What is holding them up on those reports? Whether they've got glitches and itches of any problems, they never spoke to us. Then that's why I think they're just sitting and doing nothing because they know that we won't do anything. They are the big muscles, we can't tackle them. But this time, I mean, the whole world must know that we've been promised lies after lies about the authorities which have to give us those documents. Other things which they're doing for themselves, let them do them for themselves. But we need closure. We need those reports so that we can understand what transpired on that day. Till today, this building is going to go down on Sunday. We don't know what happened. Because that summary doesn't give us the full information of how things happened on that particular day. Morapana says he needs closure, not only for him, but for his family and grandchildren about what really caused their father's death. Uh, the grandchildren, when I see them, obviously the, the bigger one, who is four years old, does talk about her father. And then maybe those memories are fading a little bit, but she knows her father. She knows her father. Because whenever she sees a picture of him, she will point at him and say, yes, my father.